what's up? I am super excited about this video today because it is one of the videos that I personally love to watch. I am constantly searching on YouTube for what's in my bag videos and I'm just kind of nosy. I like to see what's in like other people's purses and what they carry around and maybe what's something I can pack my purse with that I hadn't thought of because you will see I like to carry A, a lot of stuff with me and B, a lot of things that are more like emergency things that I actually tend to use all the time. My friends like to call me mom uh, when we're out because anytime they need anything, I'm like, oh, I have that in my bag. And they're like, we know you do. I haven't done one of these in a while. And the bag that I've been carrying around lately is a little more expensive than a lot of people would like to spend on a purse. Um, and I thought about moving all of my stuff into a less expensive bag. And then I thought about it and I was like, I want to be honest with you guys. I want to show you what I'm really carrying. Everything that is inside of the bag is obviously the same as if I was carrying a $20 tote that I got from Target or something like that. But I'm going to go ahead and show you my bag. So this is a Celine micro luggage tote in black drummed leather. And this is a little keychain that I got from Thursday, Friday. It was just delivered to my PO box and I thought it was really cute. So I hooked it on here. I haven't carried it out like this anywhere yet. And I don't know how long this little fella is gonna live on this purse, but I thought it looked really cute. So the purse is pretty structured in shape, which I think is just really cool and kind of girly and stuff like that. So I have the black drum leather which I am pretty obsessed with. There is a little zippered pocket on the front right here that I don't keep anything in because I don't want to you know kind of warp the structure. I like how it's like sleek and stuff so I can put like an ID or something in there but I don't really need to so I don't. Um, Alright so when I open up the bag this is what it looks like. So you can see I have quite a few things packed in here and I'm also someone that likes to put bags and bags and bags. Um, so we'll be going through a lot of bags during this. I'm pretty organized. I like to keep my purse really organized. I go through it pretty much every night if I've been out shopping or really anywhere that I took my purse with me that night before I go to bed. I like to go ahead and just go through it, clean out any of the trash, put things back in their little bags where they belong um, and kind of fix anything that got disheveled between the day. And I just feel like having an organized purse is like waking up to a clean kitchen for me. I cannot go to sleep with a dirty kitchen. I love waking up and walking into my kitchen, getting a fresh cup of coffee and a clean kitchen every morning. Anyways, that's how an organized purse is for me. So first thing I have is a Rubik's Cube. If you guys know me, then you know I am obsessed with Rubik's Cubes. This little baby has been with me since my freshman year of high school. I take it pretty much everywhere. The only time I won't have it with me is if I have like a uh, night out, you know, little clutch and it obviously won't fit. But other than that, it's pretty much always with me. Next thing I have is on the inside, there are two pockets. There's a smaller pocket, which is the cell phone pocket. Sometimes I use it as my lip gloss pocket, uh, but for now I have my cell phone in it. So I still have the 5S because I really didn't see any reason to upgrade. I like my 5S. It's not broken or anything like that. It's, you know, it's working really well right now. Um, and I also have shamelessly an Ellen Blair case on it and we do not have cases for the 6 or 6 plus yet. They're in production but we don't actually have them yet so I was thinking about it and I was like oh my goodness what case would I put in on it and you guys know I love to shamelessly plug anything that is my own. I have two books that I wrote in the back of all of my videos and you know anytime I have a chance to show you guys a cell phone case I will. A lot of things in my bag are from Shop Glitzy Glam. I mean I just hashtag sellout question mark. Yes. These are available at at and or Solaris.com and I will go ahead and put a link to everything below when I mention it in this video because I'm sure there will be a lot of questions. And my favorite app on my phone Hands down, you guys already know what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna be silent for a second. You guys can say it to yourself and then now we can all say it together. Yes, Audible, I am obsessed with it. I love to read books, but I just don't always have the time. It takes me like an hour to get ready in the morning. So while I'm doing my hair and makeup, I wish I had an hour to read a book, but I'm kind of like busy at that time. 
but I can be listening to a book. I go through so many audiobooks, and if you guys want to download a free audiobook from Audible, you can go to audible.com slash Blair, and you can get a free book. I have some friends that work over at Audible, and they gave me a coupon code to give anyone that I want. So, um, yeah, your first book is absolutely free. Right now, I'm reading Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, and honestly, it reminded me of American Horror Story. I don't want to spoil the book for you, but I will say if you like American Horror Story and kind of like the eerie creepiness of it, especially around this time of year, I think it works out really, really well. Uh, I would definitely recommend this book. So you can get any book you want with your free book. You can get this one. You can get my book. Shameless. You can download absolutely any book that you want. So I'm on chapter six. Again, that is audible.com slash Blair, and you can get your free audiobook, which I think is awesome. And then over in the next pocket, I have a couple little snacks because I have really low blood sugar. Anyway, so I like to carry snacks around with me all the time. I'm gonna sneeze. Like I was saying, I like to carry snacks around with me all the time, whether they are individually packaged or if they're like, you know, just in a Ziploc baggie or something. So right now I have these right here. You guys are probably like, what are those? Oh my gosh. Well, I have the actual bag to show you. They are the Nature Box Mango Orange Fruit Chews. So you know those little gummies that you used to get in packages like this? My mom would always put them in my lunchbox. These are those, but they're actually healthy. The pack came with five individual little packages and I have three left. So yeah, these are super good. Last coupon code I'm gonna give you guys from my friends over at Nature Box and then the rest of this video, I'm not gonna have any sort of like codes or anything like that. Uh, if you go to naturebox.com slash Blair and go ahead and sign up and give them your address, they will send you a free sample packet to try, which I think is really, really awesome. And I definitely recommend Nature Box for anyone who likes kind of snacky foods but doesn't want to constantly be reaching for like, you know, potato chips or something like that that can be a little more caloric. These are all pretty healthy for you and I am obsessed with them and I snack on it literally every single day. So I have those in my purse because like I said, my blood sugar gets pretty low. Naturebox.com slash Blair, you can get your free sample pack. And I love my friends over there. Thank you for that code for all of my other friends, which I am extending to the online world because you guys are my friends. Next, I have my keys. So I have my keychain that my mama made. It has my name on it. If you guys can see that, the lighting is not gonna show you, boo. And then this is just a little thing that sticks on your keychain that I like to keep my ID, credit card and some cash in, and I typically don't carry my wallet with me everywhere I go. This is more of what I have. The only time I'll take my big wallet is if I'm going out of town or something like that, but for the most part, I just need my ID card and some cash, and it all fits in this, and then that way, if I'm just running to the grocery store, I will just take this with me. I can slip the keychain on my hand to push the buggy and don't have to let go of anything, and it's just super simple and easy. And you will probably see me walking around with this equally, if not more than you will see me walking around with my bag. So next thing we have is my travel makeup bag. So this is the makeup that I tend to take with me if I'm gonna be out for the entire day and stuff. Uh, this is a Balenciaga makeup bag that I kinda love and I just think she's really, really pretty. And so I'm just gonna show you what I have in here, what makeup I carry around with me. And I will say I have more lip products than anything else. The rest of the stuff I tend to keep pretty condensed, but lip products just accumulate and keep coming. So first thing I have is a concealer. Right now I have my Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Concealer. Then I have my MAC Studio Fix Powder with a brush to apply that with. I have another concealer. This is a YSL concealer. Then I have three products for my eyes. I have a Merrill Norman Black Eyeliner. I have a Lorac Pro uh, Eyebrow Pencil. And I have a Dior Dior Show Iconic Mascara just to touch anything up with. The rest of the products, oh, well this one I guess is Cheek. It's the Mary Kay Cheek Stain, and it is in Tangerine. I actually have this on my cheeks and a little bit of this on my lips today. It might have come off with my excessive coffee drinking, um, but yeah, I was using that. And then I have the Sarah Hap Lip Slip in gloss form. I have a MAC Lip Gloss in Viva Glam 6. 
I have my Bite Beauty uh, lip plumping oil in cinnamon. I have my Boldly Bare MAC lip uh, liner. I've got my Lorac Pro uh, matte lip color pencil in mauve. I have three more, four more lip products with me. Goodness, I have the MAC lip gloss in bow. I have the, ooh, what is this? This is the Bite Beauty lipstick in Retsina, Retsina, I think. I have the Butter London lipstick in Ruby Murray. And I have the Hourglass lipstick in Whisper. So yeah, you can definitely say that I am a goo hoarder. Anything sticky, anything uh, like this, definitely I hoard and I always have more in my bag than I need. Next thing I have is this little doodad case that I got. Why is there like fur on everything that I own? Um, so this is actually the little pouch that I keep all of my gift cards in. So I am someone that a lot of people tell me I'm kind of hard to shop for and for any sort of gift, I get given gift cards all the time. Um, so I have some spa gift cards in here for like massages and stuff like that. I have uh, just a ton of different gift cards for like Kmart and uh, Papa John's. Ooh, that was a Papa John's gift card for $10 off at Papa John's. I think I'm gonna have pizza today. So I like to carry this around with me, especially if I'm going to go shopping. And I organize this kind of a lot. I tend to know the stores that I have gift cards for. So I don't have to go through this every time I pass a store and be like, oh, do I have a gift card for that? I pretty much know if I do or not. Next thing I have is my planner. So it is by Kate Spade, it says 2014. I have a little decal on it right here. And I don't carry this around absolutely everywhere, but most of the time I would say I have this with me. I am much more likely to follow a schedule if I write it down. Anything that I have like on my iCal, on my computer, literally I do not go by that at all. I go by what I write in this. And I am someone that likes to keep a very, very organized schedule. So I just like to have this with me. This was from Shop Glossy Glam as well. I know we sold out of this one and we didn't restock it because it's almost the end of 2014. And who wants to buy a planner for just like three more months that we have left? You can go online and check and see if we have any of the 2015 agendas in yet, but I don't believe we do, but I will link them below if we do. The last thing that I have in this bag, this is what it looks like empty, by the way. It literally looks the exact same. I love how structured it is, and it also has a zippered closure on the top. The very last thing I have is my mom bag. So this is in a Trina Turk little cosmetic case that I got. From some event I went to, they had, you know, this in one of the swag bags or something, and I've just kind of always kept it, used it for random things. Right now, it's for my mom bag. You know, um, I don't have any children, so it doesn't really make sense that I would be this motherly, uh, but all of my friends are like, that is a mom bag. That is what a mom would carry around. Uh, I like to just think it's just my ice bag, my in case of emergency bag. So. First things first, I have my glasses. I'm a little bit blind, and by a little bit, I mean a lot of it. Going along with that, I also have a contact case with me in case my contacts start to, start to get, you know, like itchy or something, and I just need to take them out and put my glasses on. I will go ahead and do that. I have a deodorant. This is the baby size of the Secret Clinical Strength, and it doesn't have a cap on it, which is kind of gross and kind of doesn't bother me at all. Next thing is the Hollywood oil blotting tissues. So I have pretty oily skin, so I'll use that throughout the day. I have a Sharpie with me because you never know when you need a permanent marker. I have the uh, Freshness On The Go Reviver, the world's first deodorant for clothes. So it removes odors from your clothes. I've mentioned this since, but I actually do really like that. I have a Tide Go Pin in case I spill something like red wine all over myself. Yeah. I have that. I have one of the little Furby Gone, little travel size, um, what is this even called? Like the hair roller, lint roller. Uh, I like to have this on me because I do have a dog and although he doesn't shed, maybe I'm the one that's shedding. I don't know. I tend to have hair on everything. I have some mints. This is the Altoids and it sounds like there's just one left in there so that needs to be replaced. I have some gum. This is the Stride Spearmint, I believe. It doesn't have the flavor on it but I typically buy spear Spearmint. Yeah, that's what it's called. Um, I've got 
two tampons for when my Aunt Flo decides to make her grand entrance out of my vagina. I have a travel pack of band-aids which I tend to need a lot and I also have some Neosporin or this is actually Walgreens brand but it's you know the same sort of little goo stuff that you put on cuts or scrapes or anything like that so I have that with me. I've got some earplugs. These are from the Hyatt Atlanta Midtown so they have these in the room. I will take what you put in the room that is free. I love little bottles of things. I love baby things. I think that's one of the reasons that I even have this bag. I love to fill it with like miniature things. I just like little things. Look at my dog, for example. Um, yeah, so some earplugs. I have ear phones, which I use all the time, you know, just random ones. I like the over the ear one, but they're just so big to carry around with me. I have a sewing kit. So this is just a little travel to go one. And I really enjoy that. I have a deck of cards, just like my Rubik's Cube. I am one of those people that I don't like to be bored and I don't like for people to be bored around me, especially like friends or something. I don't ever want them to think about me and think, Oh yeah, that was kind of a boring day. I like for them to think of like constantly at least doing something, even if it's just like playing a you know game or if there is a magician around, I will find you and have you do a trick. Not a lie, I love magicians. Um, next I have my Colgate Wisps. So just the little things to brush my teeth if I'm on the go. I have eyelash adhesive because I wear false eyelashes all the time and sometimes they tend to come off, especially if I am, I don't know, like in the movie theater and Ellie and I snuck some wine in and we're watching The Fault in Our Stars and we cannot help ourselves controllably sobbing. Yeah, my lashes tend to come off. If I need to glue them back on, I can. I did it that day. But that was a hypothetical story that, you know, obviously. Um, next, I have my little charger for on-the-go mobile devices. So you can just plug a USB cord into the end and it will charge your phone or your iPad or anything like that. So I have that with me. My phone dies all the time. I have a very, like, dead phone most of the time. I've got my little floss picks. I, if you can't tell, like, my mouth, like, floss, wisp mints, gum. I just like to keep that like clean and minty. Another thing for my mouth, I have the spray uh, mouth freshener. This is by Hello, I think is what it's called. That's what it says on the thing. Then I have a pin. This is from the Venetian in Vegas. So yeah, thank you for that pin. I love it. Uh, then I have the C.O. Bigelow Body Lotion. This is in Lavender Peppermint. If you have ever smelled those two scents together, you know that they are pretty heavenly. So this is body lotion. I use it on my hands a lot. I just like that it is a little small container that I can carry around with me. I've got some wet ones, antibacterial wipes. Uh, yeah, I use these for everything. I'm constantly having to replace those. I have some contact solution. That should have been up with my other eye care stuff. I have two things left. Uh, this is some bobby pins with a hair bow tied around it. And then I have some spare contacts. So most of the time if I lose a contact or something, I will just put my glasses on. But there are certain times where I don't want to be wearing my glasses. I want to have contacts. So I will just go ahead and pop these suckers in. So I wear the AccuView Oasis for Astigmatism Hydra Clear. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That is everything that's in my bag. If you film a What's in My Bag video, I and my nosy self would love to see it. So please go ahead and tweet me the link or put it on Instagram, tag me or something like that. And yeah, I would love to see it. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you later. Bye.